tonight. Let's find out for how long. Here's our chief meteorologist, Kevin Robinson. Hey there. Hey, good evening, Mike and Shree. Yeah, we did have those clouds come through about mid evening and certainly made it look like it might be ready to open up on us, but we were fortunate and lucky enough that the skies did not. And that's good news. So that means we're going to enjoy a pretty comfortable Wednesday as well around here for us. Temperatures will be a couple of degrees milder in the morning. In fact, we will start the day between about 55 and 60 degrees for what should be another very nice day. Here's a live look outside right now. You know, something happened this evening that you probably really didn't even notice, but believe it or not, we had a very weak cool front kind of sneak its way through the area. And how do I know? Well, our winds have switched around from the south to the north. Check out the flag here. Now that front's not going to have any real impact on our weather altogether, aside from maybe switching our winds around. See, they're out of the northeast now. They were southerly at the start of the evening. Temperatures, though, have remained quite mild. One of the effects of those clouds rolling in, they tend to act like a little bit of a blanket and it helps to keep the temperatures up a couple of degrees and you can see that reflected across the board here pretty much everyone in the 60s still. So this front's not going to really bring in much cooler air. It's not going to have a real impact on our forecast overall. You've dipped down to 57 in Wilmington. You're in the low 60s in Springboro, but still close to 70 here in the city, 68 in Florence, and you're in the low 60s south of the Ohio River. Too. So here's how temperatures will respond over the next couple of hours. We'll slowly fall our way down through the 60s and eventually end up in the upper 50s by morning. Overnight lows, generally we're talking low to mid 50s north of the river, although a little bit warmer here in the city, upper 50s, and then you'll probably get stuck closer to 60 to the south of the Ohio River. So should be all in all a slightly milder night than last night. So here's that front. It's throwing on the brakes, though, and this front extends out to stormy weather back across parts of Kansas, Oklahoma and Texas. You see the numerous tornado watches and storms still going good tonight across the Sooner State back down into parts of Texas. What will happen? The energy from these storms will travel along the front, but it's not going to get here until Thursday. So that means we get to enjoy a beautiful Wednesday. Highs tomorrow likely to surge their way all the way up to around 80 degrees, pretty much about where we were today. And that takes us to party on the purple. Should be a great evening to be high up above the Ohio River for a little bit of fun. 6 p.m. temperatures around 80 and we'll see them slowly slip their way back down through the low 70s. Now here's future cast. Aside from a few passing clouds again tonight into tomorrow, it's relatively quiet. Your dry Wednesday from start to finish should be a beautiful day. Things begin to change though. Late tomorrow night into Thursday morning. Look what happens here by Thursday morning before the sun even comes up. I'm thinking scattered showers and thunderstorms will begin to approach. They may not be terribly widespread, but rain chances will ramp up towards daybreak on Thursday. I think we get a little bit of a lull and then Thursday afternoon and evening. Look at this showers and storms move through. Some of the storms could be a little bit on the stronger side on Thursday before they get out of here Thursday night. You can see by 910 we're starting to quiet things down for what should be a dry Friday, but the dry weather won't last long. So tonight, just a few clouds for us. It'll be a comfortable night all in all. Upper 50s here in the city, mid 50s in the burbs. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, staying warm up to around 80 for your high. Here's your day planner. Should warm up in a hurry in the morning, much like we saw today. So upper 50s at 8 a.m. will already be in the 70s by noon, knocking on the door of 80 late. Here's your seven day forecast. So there's your weather impact symbol for Thursday, as that will be the day in which I think weather will be the most impactful for us. And then we dry it out on Friday. But as I mentioned, that break is short. Saturday starts dry. So if you've got games or scrimmages or practices, Early in the day on Saturday, I think you're fine. It's Saturday night if you got plans to go out into Sunday, unfortunately, for Mother's Day. Kind of dreary and cool here on Sunday. Board games and bonding on Mother's Day. All <laughs> right. All right. If it's not. Yay, moms. Get, yeah, there you go. Hey, you get enough, right? I'm just.